Hey everyone, it's Pia. Um, I'm here today to do a review on Tom Ford's Traceless Foundation Stick. And I've been looking for a new foundation because I just finished my By Terry Sheer Cover, which I liked a lot, but I was noticing that I wasn't getting the staying power that I wanted and my skin has taken a turn for the worse in the last few months, so I wanted to make a little more coverage. I decided to go for the Tom Ford. It's in this, a similar price bracket as the By Terry. Um, the By Terry, I think, is $67, um, and the Tom Ford is $80. So it's definitely high-end foundation. However, I don't really mind that. Um, I have a pretty finicky skin for foundation use. I'm extremely pale. Um, the light I'm using is pretty yellow, so I don't know if you can tell, but my skin is almost translucent, so foundation already looks kind of, can look strange on it pretty easily, even if it does match the color of my skin, because the quality of my skin is so, it's like rice paper. Secondly, I do have very dry skin, and often the foundations will cling to my dry patches. This is aggravated usually by using a brush. So I stick to foundations that I can apply with my fingertips or with a beauty blender. I usually go for fingertips because I am lazy and I just wanna smear something on my face um, in the morning to cancel out redness, to cover my spots. I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera so maybe you can see what my skin looks like right now. Um, let's see, I just, did a lot of moisturizing because before I use any foundation, I have to mo highly moisturize my face with multiple moisturizers because um, my skin is always flaky all the time, no matter what I do. It's the dead of winter. Anyways, hence the shine, usually super dry. So as you can see on my cheek area here, I have a little bit of redness and these spots. Um, my worst area is my chin. Here you can see I have a lot of marks from past um, acne, a little bit of acne scarring in this region. My forehead is usually pretty clear. I have something here, something here. For the most part, my, I don't worry so much about my forehead. Um, and I just have redness on my nose. This comes in a stick formulation in really beautiful brown and gold packaging. Take the top off, it turns up like a stick. That's about how big it is, about the size of a quarter. And um, I am using the color 01 Alabaster because I am pale as paper. So um, I bought mine at Bloomingdale's and Go ahead and get started and see what it looks like. So usually how I apply this is I just start smearing it on the areas that I most like to cover, which is the lower part of my face. And I just literally, like a child, go directly on my face. <laughs> As you can tell, my skin definitely looks more covered and more even. Right now, because I have so much moisturizer underneath, it actually looks pretty moisturized. And um, I actually use this foundation when I want to look more matte, if you can believe it. Um, after about 10 minutes, I've noticed it does kind of dry down into a more matte consistency and sometimes when I'm really dry I just can't handle that it, it ends up clinging a little bit to my dry spots not as much as some other lower-end foundations do um, 
or the foundation for a lot of silicone end up turning out like uh, Armani face fabric and um, formulations like that. So overall, I like the Tom Ford um, Traceless Foundation Stick for my more matte days. Um, you can put in your bag, you can touch up whenever you need, um, you can put it on with your fingertips, although you can use a brush or a beauty blender, but I find it looks perfectly all right just smearing it on. Um, and it actually works with my skin tone, which is great if you're a pale girl looking for um, a foundation that's going to fit your skin tone. I generally give it a thumbs up. I still think that I'm going to get um, a new by Terry cover expert for when I want to look more dewy and I can do a video review on that as well and you can see the difference in finish between this and a similar high-end um, formulation. So yeah, Tom Ford Traces Foundation Stick. If you want a skin-like semi-matte natural skin finish in a light color uh, and you have the cash to spend this is definitely a worthwhile product um, the only downside to it actually is the smell is kind of cake makeup-y I guess that's because it does have sort of a traditional um, texture as like uh, theatrical makeup or cake ma cake makeup as they call it uh, so it does kind of have a weird smell, in my opinion, but I don't usually let smell and cosmetics bother me. Fragrances don't bother my skin. Otherwise, great product, and I recommend it. If you guys want to see more trustworthy reviews on um, beauty products, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you again.